Let's look at one way that we can round numbers in Excel. Here we have the data for a number of players, Ed, Ned, Jed, Red, Ted, Fred, and Wilbur, and their rating. Now as we look at these numbers, they are really discouraging. It's just like a wall of numbers. It is not easy to read. Humans don't like looking at a big pile of numbers like that. We need to simplify this ratings column so that they're easier to read. And the way that we're going to do that is by rounding the numbers down to two decimal points. Now, why two decimal points? Because in psychology and the social sciences, that's kind of a tradition, is that you round things to two decimal points. Now, there's reasons that you, that's good, and there's reasons that that's bad, but it's just tradition. That's what, have, that's what we do. So we want to reduce these ratings to just two decimal points. Now, the way that we can do that in Excel is, first of all, we can, we can select the whole column here. So if we click on F here, and if we uh, uh, go to, we're on home, we go to this section over here, and it says general, this, is, this describes the number format. We want to change this from general to number, which is two decimal points. So look at that, it changed it automatically to two decimal points, and now this is a lot easier to read. Right away, we can tell that Wilbur has the highest rating with 11.16, and then we can go and look, and sure enough, Ed has the lowest rating with 9.28. So that's the easiest way to adjust uh, um, uh, the decimal points, to, to round things to two decimal points. Now, if we wanted a little bit more, we could go to choose a cell, and then we could use these buttons here to adjust the number of uh, decimal points. This first one is the increase the decimal points. So if I click that, we got three decimal points. This one reduces the number of decimal points, and it's going down to there's one decimal point. But two decimal points is usually pretty good. Now we have a tradition here at Azusa Pacific University of linking the different concepts that we look at to biblical principles that, that Jesus taught about. Now you might be saying, how does rounding numbers relate to anything that Jesus uh, had to say? Well, the goal of rounding numbers was to remove the clutter so that we could focus on what's important. This group of numbers was far easier to read than the, the group of numbers that had all the decimal points that we were able to focus on what was important. And Jesus told a story once too on where he, uh, 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 let me make it bigger, where he wanted people to focus on what was important. That's the story of Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha were sisters, and one time Jesus and the disciples came and visited them, and Jesus uh, sat down and he started teaching. Now Martha, she was so excited to have Jesus and the disciples there that she started running around and getting everything ready, fixing the meal, making sure everything was just right. Whereas Mary, she sat down with the disciples and listened to what Jesus had to say and listened to the word of God. Martha saw this and said, oh man, this isn't fair. I've got to do all the work. And she's just sitting there uh, with the not doing anything. And she came to Jesus and said, Jesus, can, can you make Mary do something so that she'll help, help me get everything ready? And Jesus responded, Martha, Martha, the Lord replied, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, and it will not be taken away from her. Jesus basically said, yeah, you know, there's a lot of things to do and stuff, but there's something a lot more important than getting a meal ready, getting everything done on your list of tasks. What Mary is doing, listening to Jesus, listening to the Word of God, was far more important. So just like we round numbers so that we can focus on what's important, so Jesus asks us to organize our life in such a way so that we can listen to what's important too, so that we can listen to God and to his word.